So um, I'm going to do this a mechanism now for um, a cissoid. Um, I think best way to describe a cissoid is look it up on uh, uh, Wikipedia. Um, but a cissoid is a, is a curve related, is derived from two other curves. And we're going to do a mechanism like that one um, to create the cissoid between a circle and a line. And uh, it's uh, working our way through this book. And uh, of course, we're using um, GX Web. Uh, so this this curve uses a uh, uh, this this uh, mechanism rather uses a, uh, a subsidiary line to the y-axis here. Um, so we'll put it in place and we'll nail it down by. We want to do parallel and a certain distance away from the y-axis. We can do that in one jump with the parallel distance constraint. Make that distance. A. And we're now the mechanism is works with sliders, but effectively it's creating a, a, a point B that goes up and slides up and down that line. Um, and then we're going to come uh, perpendicular uh, to that line at a certain distance. So uh, we make BC uh, perpendicular. And uh, we'll give that a particular distance b. And now what we do is we come in um, again using using sliders. We we come in per, for, we create a line from c uh, perpendicular to a b. Do that that way. And we drive the whole thing uh, by this angle here. And the uh, now we can see that doing. Uh, doing what it needs to do there. Uh, we can now create the locus of D as theta varies. And uh, there is our curve. Takes on different, uh, somewhat different shapes if we uh, change B. It flattens out if we make B uh, small enough and comes to a point if we bring B up to the same as a uh, what kind of curve what kind of uh, equation does that curve have let's have a look equation of k naught and let's have what, what we've got here so obviously a cubic curve we've got an x cubed and we've got an x y squared into it um, yeah, x squared and y squared um, so that's a, a cissoid, a particular cissoid um, curve. Um, let me show you just to finish off um, a new feature we have in GX Web, the ability to create um, uh, uh, an app, an HTML app. Well, first of all, I'd like this app is going to let me uh, move theta backwards and forwards, but I'd like it to move within reasonable limits. So we can see that now yeah, once it gets up to about one radian, uh, it's going way off the screen. So let's make the limit of theta one. And we'll put a negative one as a uh, limit in the opposite direction. And that will give us um, most of the visible curve here. And we can see that uh, going up and down. The reason I'm doing this is that when I create uh, the app, it will automatically um, <laughs> find a reasonable range for theta, and it will, it will be liable to go to give us the entire curve uh, way up to, but way bigger than I, I really wanted to. Okay, so to create an app, it's real easy. Uh, we're going to do a long press out in space, so we haven't got anything selected. We can either copy the app, in which case it will end up on the um, uh, on the clipboard. Or else we can save it. We're here we're saving it. We're seeing that Chrome is telling me what it is. 
Um, it's calling it app18.html, but if we just click on that, it'll come up in Chrome. And here we have um, the, the page that, that we wanted. We can, we can look at that, that we created. We can look at what happens when we change B and we can animate it with respect to theta.